so what are testimonies? Stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew and welcome to Animated Christians. On this channel, we discuss questions about the church as well as original content. Now, I'm not saying all pastors or all churches are like this, since some do walk in their calling. I'm just trying to get rid of the mindset that we created the church to be. So I'm sure you have heard the word testimony in church before. But what does it mean when a person gives a testimony? Well, a definition of testimony is to declare, profess, or acknowledge openly. So by looking at this definition, we see that testimony is evidence of what has happened in a person's life by acknowledging it openly in the church. Today, you hardly see any testimonies in the church. And not a lot of churches are open to the congregation or more proper community testimonies in the church. Why is this? Let's put it another way. It is your story, how you came to Christ and how you share your story with others. But the church has made it out to be that there's only one testimony from the pastor. And how far can one testimony take you? I can say not very far. You see, the church needs to be an interactive community by sharing people's testimonies together, but not by one man all the time, including guests. I really get tired of pastors' stories and how wonderful their life is. And they talk to this person and that person. It makes the pastor look bigger than he actually is. I've always wondered, how do I get the same thing sitting there in church? But notice how the pastor never tells you how to get there. It should be more of us sharing our stories and what testimonies we have and how we came to the Lord, not just the pastor. Plus, the church is never still for very long. It's always moving. So why is it when we go to church, we're asked to be still? Yes, I know there are times to be still with God, but that's not what I'm talking about. Think about it for a moment. If a church is always in one location, one pastor, one team, it's what I call a one-man show. But it's always in the same location. This does not mean you can't reach people there and build church families. It's just something I noticed lately, that we're always stuck in one building or one location all the time. And that's not how it's supposed to be. Because God is always moving, never staying in one place for very very long. The church needs to be moving with God, not against him. When I was watching the Bible ministries and listening to the Bible experience, I noticed something that we often miss. Most of the heroes that we adore from both the Old and New Testament came from unlikely men. It was not the high pastor that was called to kill the giant. It was a shepherd named David, and even his father did not think he was worthy to be king when Samuel came to see him. Moses is another who had to escape murder, but then saved the Israelites from Pharaoh. I have not noticed this until now, and I hate to say the one who is the greatest hero among God is the least person you think it might be. Therefore, I think making the church bigger and sticking with this one testimony theory year after year after year after doing the same thing expecting a different result will not work no matter how hard you try. The church is never meant to be called to come to a building and stick there very long. But unfortunately, that's what they teach in church. You teach that the church should stick where it's at without growing. Is that what you mean by bringing people to church? You get them stuck in this tradition when in reality you should be equipping them and sending them out and do the same with the next group? So I wanted to get this off my chest because I think it needs to be said that you pastors, not all of you, are bad since some of 
you do walk in your calling, need to give your congregation a chance to share with you their testimonies, whether that be dreams, visions, problems, etc. You need to be approachable, not unapproachable. So I hope this helped give you an idea of how important testimonies are in the church. And join me next Friday where we will discuss a different topic about the church. And if you have questions about the church, leave them in the comments below. And never forget, Animated Chris is just for you.